My name is Emmanuel Obayagbona uh, from Edo State, Benin City, but born and bred up in Delta State, Warri. I studied electrical and electronic engineering in Institute of Management and Technology, IMT, Edo State. I graduated 2015, as two years ago. I studied electrical engineering under power, power option. Yeah, I have a um, thunder lightning energy converter. The thunder lightning energy converter here yeah, is a non-working prototype. Let me just say a sketch, a pictorial sketch, how it's going to look like, how the natural one is going to look like. The lightning arrestor will be designed in such a way that when the lightning strike, it will capture a minimum a maximum of five megavolts from the lightning and a minimum of one megavolts from the lightning. Now lightning comes with 330 megavolts per strike. That's a maximum um, voltage lightning comes along with and it comes along with with uh, 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 power over 150,000 over 500,000 megawatts of power i mean between an average of 500,000 megawatts of uh, power and lightning occurs within the face the tropical region of, of um, um, the sub sahara desert within 140 million times per annum in other words some people said lightning comes and go uh, how long uh, uh, do we see lightning? But lightning occurs 140 million times per annum, per year. Now, within the, the tropical region, that's the sub, um, sub-Sahara region, in Nigeria per se, it occurs because Nigeria is one of the, the tropical region. It occurs between an average of 80 to 100 million times per annum. Now, lightning comes with a speed of 3.0 times 10, which is 8 meters per second square. Let me go into science. Now, when it comes, the lightning arrests are built to capture the charges of the lightning. Because as the lightning strikes, is a little segment of power is being arrested by the lightning arrestor. The mask is going to be a skyscraper mask, just like those communication masks. You know, it's, it's, it's this tiny bracelet and, and, and long mask with iron bracelets so that it will not fall due to wind and other rain and other things, storms and so on. Now, the mass is going to be that high such that when the lightning strike, the, the lightning arrest will find it easily to capture the charges from the lightning. Now, what, what I mean charges of, of lightning, lightning and thunder occurs at the same time. But because lightning travels faster than sound, that's why we first of all see the light, then after the thunder follows. Now, if you hold a piece of metal during the rain, you find that when it is during lightning, when it is lightning, one will be electrocuted. Sometimes when it is about raining, PSCN, formerly known as NEPA, have to switch off the, the grid system, the power system. Then because they, they, because lightning can easily damage their their um, overhead cables. Lightning can easily damage their transformer. It can easily damage anything. That is why they have to switch off first. Then after after the, the lightning, the raining, then the light comes back. We have a lot of scientists who have gone into research on generating power from lightning. But the key factor is they are trying to capture the entire 330 megavolts that comes from lightning, which is not possible to be unnested. Because there is no material that can unnest such a, 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 an amount of power from lightning. It will just destroy this, this, this unnesting zone. That is why we are taking 1 over 100% from the from the, the voltage that comes from uh, with lightning. Lightning comes with 330 million volts. In Nigeria we are generating 330,000 volts. So what makes this invention differ from the ones that they are researching, that the, 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 the foreign scientists are researching on, is because we are not unnesting every um, 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 power, the whole power of uh, lightning. We are not unnesting the whole power. We are not also unnesting the whole voltage of lightning. We know that voltage that lightning comes with 330 million volts. That's in engineering 330 megavolts. So we are not unnesting everything. We are taking just one over 100. Others can go. It's by collaboration with the NSE. That's the Nigerian Society of Engineers. I'm willing to collaborate with anybody that will pick up this vision with me. If federal government can you know, introduce the NSE 
to this vision, as in working with my plan now, will come will bring this vision to limelight because this vision entails so many aspects of uh, engineers, like the metallurgical engineers, the electrical engineers, the uh, instrumentation and control engineers, the uh, soil science geographers, astronomers. These are various branches of people that are needed for this vision to come to execution. In other words, the geographers are meant to show us the area, the prone areas that are prone to lightning. In other words, there are some areas that are prone to lightning and there are some areas that are not prone to lightning. So those areas that are prone to lightning will match various masks with our lightning arrestors there. The reason is because lightning may strike in maybe Ajegule and lightning may not strike here. So the lightning arrestor in Ajegule we trust that energy and transmit it to our anesthesia zone, our storage zone, through overhead uh, uh, high tension cables. Here we have a generator power booster. The generator power booster is an electrical device that is used for ironing gear generators that cannot power pressing iron or that cannot power heavy loads. For instance, most people find it difficult to press their clothes using their pass by level generator. So with the aid of this generator booster, one can iron his clothes comfortably and toast bread with his bread toaster, which the normal generator, the tiger generator cannot um, empower. So what we do is when you turn on the generator outside, you, you, you plug this to any of the wall sockets in the house. And then after you plug your, your maybe your bread toaster or your electric uh, kettle or your pressing iron and then start ironing your clothes using the gene booster. Then secondly, this product here is a, an, is a product that can automatically switch off your generator when there's public power supply. When there's public power supply, one don't need to go to where the product is fixed. The person just needs to sit where he or she is sitting and the, the, the product does the switching off the generator on its own. So nobody goes out to off the generator. Now this is an indoor device. It must be installed inside there. But if in the absence of public power supply, one wants to switch off its generator, assuming the gen is on, they don't need to go out or waiting or start keep waiting for a, a public power mains to come in. You know, the person can just automatically manually shut down his generator by pressing second to the last button till the generator goes off. So it can switch off all kind of generators. So this product we help Nigerians. Actually, my final year project was Solar Inverter, which we, I, we, we are a group, into group. We are, we, are, we are into group, not just me. We are about five and uh, four people who um, um, joined me to build the inverter. So it, it, it was a school project. You know, it, it was very, very expensive. So they have to group four, four people to one project, four people to one project. For those who their projects are very, very expensive. So, but my main factor is to is to make sure that the thunder lightning energy converter comes to new lights because this will solve the whole of Nigerian and African and, and electricity challenge. I started my invention at the age of six. It will shock you. Though I was just, I was doing those little little trial by error, carry bomb and put on battery if it will light, bring a, a you know battery and power capacitor, you know, diode, all those. I, I don't know their names, then I was just collecting scrap electronics on you know using battery to test them. The ones that will work, I will keep them, the ones that will not work, I will carry them. I keep developing myself from time to time until when I was at 16, you know, I, I started doing, you know powerful torch lights using this uh, 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 blue, recycled blue, this, this, this uh, sun, sunrise blue that women put on water is a, is a form of a powder. They put it on water, then they put their white shirts. You know, the empty can of it was used to design torch by me. And it lasts very, very long. It uses this microphone battery. You know, people saw these things in me and they, started, they, 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 they keep encouraging me. Like um, there's a man, Mr. Dan Onlade, Dan Mel Onlade, he, I, I found him on Facebook. He's one of the people that support me financially to push my invention. I have a woman from um, um, Germany, I'm talking of um, Manias Grant Williams, she's a, she's a white woman who encourages African inventors. So she supports me also. Then I also have um, a scientist, uh, Michael, scientist Michael Shoho, 
is from a, is from Cameroon, but is a, is a scientist. He based in Washington DC. He also encourages me as well. Then my I have a, a Dr. David Elijah. Yeah, Dr. David Elijah of Grace and Power Prophetic Ministry. He has been giving me money to push my invention. My own parents, you know, they sent me to school, <laughs> you know. So the little they have, they use it to make sure that I'm a graduate. And uh, education is the key, you know. Give a child education and it will, it, it will bring out, it will, it will develop something out of that education. So that's the best my parents could give to me. These are sample products, although I, I wish to mass produce them. If, do you know that if we mass produce this product, it will end foreign exchange to our country? Because not only in Nigeria that suffers um, um, epileptic power supply, from, uh, you know, there are other African countries that also suffers epileptic power supply, like from Liberia. Liberia suffers 98.2% blackout. Nigeria suffers 55.3% blackout. So this product will help other African countries that uses generator as well. Production of this product is 1,200 there. When we must produce it, maybe via innocent, because federal government is looking on, on, in, in a way where we can employ youth, the unemployed youth to be employed. Millions of Nigerians will, will, will be, we will give them job for, to package the products, you know, to to fix the product. Because we are we are not mass producing the, the whole product like this. We are producing them in parts. Then we employ Nigerian that has no job, or you have to keep assembling these things until the complete product is there, set. I would like the federal government to look into this, this vision because we are pumping money so much on fossil fuel. Now we want to go into nuclear energy, which I said in one of the interviews I had on the newspapers, with some of the media, that I don't encourage Nigeria to go into nuclear power. Why? Because we have not finished managing the hydroelectricity we are, we are having at Mina. We want to go into nuclear power, which is far more expensive than the maintenance of hydroelectricity. Number two, the issue of insurgency, that's the Boko Haram. When they target such place by throwing bombs there, you know when nuclear uh, 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 energy leaks into the atmosphere, you know what happened. You know, in, in foreign countries, you know, it causes almost disasters and so on. It will happen in Nigeria right here. And it will be more disastrous than foreign countries because they can, they can even control the earth. Now, the way forward, I am appealing to the government to look into my aid so we can move from this level to, you know, industrial level. Bringing this, this non-working prototype into a working prototype and then scaling it up to, in, uh, to industrial level whereby the whole of Nigeria will be enjoying free, steady, constant power supply. They can get in touch with me with 070-32399-435 or 081-191-66815 or they can search uh, me on Facebook with Scientist Emma and they will get my contact on, on Facebook as well to reach me. We have a group on WhatsApp called Inventors Group. So many inventors out there are part of this group. Like we have an inventor who invented a, 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 a generator powered with water. You turn water on this generator as well. It will give light. You know, when the water dry up, turn ordinary drinking water there. Not distilled water, ordinary water that you can drink. Put it there and it will start generating power for you. We also have another, the same inventor invented a machine that could convert non-microdegradable like a polythene bag, cellophane, plastic into crude oil. That's the mechanical thing I'm talking about. They also have other inventors uh, who, who produce electricity from potato. We have a lot of them in, on the inventors group, so I work with them. I want to say that I have um, a a, a ski acquisition training center for youths. It's free. It's free. It's just my own uh, quota to the government. I'm looking for as many Nigerian youths that are interested to learn these skills so we can empower them with, our, with my knowledge. 
yeah they can learn how to build how to build inverters how to build solar electricity how to build changeovers for generators how to build uh, gen boosters how to build amplifiers how to build general design general electronic design even uh, energy saving bulb you know, emergency light security light how to design them from the scratch all these things we import from china we can produce them right here so i'm looking for youth you must not be scientifically inclined before you can learn handwork. Whether you are an art student or a science student or you have knowledge or you don't have knowledge on these areas, come and we impact you with the knowledge. It's free. My name is Emmanuel Obayagbona. I am an inventor and a popularly known scientist. You are watching Rift Tech on Rift TV.